Greetings and felicitations. Today is Saturday and I'm coming at you from State Trust Land here in Lake Havasu, Arizona. What is State Trust Land? A lot of people have no idea what it is. And I'm gonna teach you today not only what it is, how to find it, how to camp it, how to get your very, very inexpensive permit for it, and what are the rules and regulations? And what about your off-road vehicles? I'm gonna cover all that in this video. What is state trust land? Most people have no idea what it is, how to find it. Most people don't even know you can camp on it because you see these signs that say no trespassing, do not cross this line or go to jail. I'm about to tell you different, at least here in Arizona. Now, state trust land is different by state. Some states allow you to camp on state trust land. Some only allow it day use. Some don't allow you to go on it at all. So it all depends on your state, the state that you're in, whether or not you can use state trust land. At least here in Arizona, you can camp on it if you get a permit. The permit's very, very inexpensive. It allows you access to all the state trust land in the state. So what is state trust land? State trust land is land that was set aside when states joined the Union way back in the 1700s and 1800s. As they joined the Union, they were given certain amounts of land to use to fund public things like public schools, correction facilities, so on and so forth. It's a way for states, especially western states, with little population, uh, because the eastern states will collect taxes and stuff for the school system, correctional facilities. The western states have lower populations, so how are they going to make money for schools? Well, one of the ways they did that was by setting aside acreage for state trust so that they could um, use the mineral rights on it, they could mine it, they could use it for timber. Um, and all kinds of ways to collect money from this land to pay for mainly the school systems, but also correctional facilities. One of the ways they collect fees is by charging for permits and uh, special use permits, recreational permits, so on and so forth. And it's different by state. Most of the states do not have state trust land. And if they do, they don't allow you to use it at all for public use. Arizona is actually um, very liberal on their use of state trust land. If you get a permit, good for a full year, a full year from the day you buy it, 365 days. It's not a calendar year. Now, your permit allows you to stay up to 14 days on state trust land in, in any 365-day period. But let me tell you, for a fact, it's not enforced very often. Um, there are people who stay out here for weeks or months at a time. I personally talked to somebody recently who said that they bounce back and forth between state trust land and stay for months. I'm not telling you that's what you should do, but I'm going to tell you what is legal, and then I'll let you decide what you want to do and how you want to handle it. But the permit is $15 for an individual or $20 for a family of four. That's two adults and two children. Your off-road vehicles are prohibited prohibited, not allowed to bring your off-road vehicles unless they have a plate with a sticker, an OHV sticker, which you get from Arizona Department of Motor Vehicles. That's another rule that seems to go about the wayside. I've seen people out here every day with dirt bikes, quads, side-by-sides, without plates, without stickers. Not telling you that's what you should do, but I'm telling you that being out here on state trust land, which is huge in Arizona and heavily, heavily populated, all right, peeps, got the camera on, on my chest. I'm gonna take the bike out here and go hit up some of the state trust land around here. I'm just gonna take a look and see what other spots are available because kind of crammed in here, although it's a Saturday, it's the busiest day, pretty much every spot is probably gonna be taken. But what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take the bike here and go down to the state trust sign show you guys what a state trust sign looks like. So let's take off. Okay, here's what the state trust land signs look like in Arizona. It says no trespassing permit required. No target shooting, travel on existing roads and trails only. Do not ride, drive in, on or near livestock tanks. Uh, hunting and fishing is allowed with a license. Do not remove native natural materials. Leave gates as found and do not litter. And there's the azland.gov website. And I'm gonna show you all this information here on the website. 
So here's a page from freecampsites.net. This is part of their blog archives, uh, an article on camping state trust land. Now in Arizona, a permit is required to camp on Arizona state trust lands, and we're going to show you that, uh, the actual website here in a moment. You can see there's other states in here mentioned, like Minnesota, uh, Montana, New Mexico, North Dakota, Oregon. Most of the states that do have state trust land are pretty restrictive. One of the, that is not very restrictive is Utah. Utah is allowed, you're allowed to camp for 15 consecutive days, which is pretty cool. You don't even need a permit for that. Now, if you want to stay longer than 15 days, um, you need a permit, and it's kind of complicated. Now, there are other states with state trust land, like, for example, Idaho, which is not mentioned in here. I spent a lot of time in Idaho. There's a lot of state trust land up there. But they're sort of battling right now over how to allow people to use it. Are they going to require permits or not? Um, I'm going to look more into that when I get to Idaho because there's a lot of really nice land up there this, that I see signs all the time for state trust. I'll include a link to this page in the description of this video. So you're going to ask me, how do you actually find state trust land? Well, Arizona, which is one of the most popular snowbird states and has lots of state trust land, they actually provide this really cool interactive viewer. And I'm going to give you the URL of this website in the description below. This is what they call a parcel viewer. So you can see, this is where I'm at right now, Lake Havasu City. Here is where I was, Sarah Park, for the fireworks. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in here. This is the entrance to, this, to Sarah Park. And the fireworks were over in this area. And this is where we camped, right here. This is state trust land. And now it's divided into these parcels. But as you can see, it goes way, way back there. So all this area behind there is state trust. There's actually state trust land right here as well. Now, I don't know if you can camp there or not. But it certainly says that this here is state trust land. Now, I'll show you where I am currently. See where the airport is. This is the shops at Lake Havasu. This is where Walmart and everything is here. I'm back here in this parcel, right off of Fathom Road. And this is little uh, London Bridge Road. I can reduce the, you can see it's London Bridge Road and Fathom Road. This is a very popular and kind of crowded space. But all in here is State Trust, have trails and it's very easy to access, very close to the shops, very good internet. You can find all public trust land by using this website. And like I said, I will provide this link in the description if you want to see. Uh, this gives you an idea. I mean, just look at how much state trust land there is. It's everywhere. This is all area you could probably camp at, but you need to have a permit. So let's go and show you how you get your permit. All you have to do is go to the link in the description, and it takes you to the Arizona State Land Department. And you would go and click on Recreation Permits, and it takes you to this page that you're at right now. So you can read all this. It basically tells you that uh, state trust land is not public land. A permit is required to camp, hike, or travel on trust land. That means you can't even step foot on trust land without having this permit. So individual permits for one year, and that's one year from the date you sign up, is $15. A family permit, which covers two adults and two children, good again for a year, is $20. And then if you want to have a group, less than 20 people stay for five days, uh, you can get a $15 permit that covers everybody in that group for that five-day period. And you can do this online. This gives you the breakdown of what all you have to do and what uh, the response, your responsibilities are. You can click on Agree and Pay. And then you can go in here, select your product. Uh, you want to do camping. And then you put your name, phone number, mailing address, all that in. Email address. And once you submit it, it asks you for payment information. They only accept credit cards online, credit and debit cards. And then you can print, you actually print your permit 
This gives you an idea of what the permit looks like. So what about off-road vehicles? Um, say you're, you have an RV, truck camper, trailer, whatever, and you have a side-by-side -side or a dirt bike or a quad, and you want to know, can you ride it on state trust land? So if you go, this is, again, uh, Arizona State Trust Land Department website and their off-highway vehicle frequently asked questions. Can I operate on state trust land? The answer is an, an off-highway vehicle under 1,800 pounds displaying the OHV decal may cross state trust land only on designated or open roads and trails. And your RV, of course, truck or trailer, requires a re recreational permit. And any other recreational purposes, picnics, camping, also require the permit. How do I obtain an OHV decal and what does it cost? Well, this website obviously hasn't been updated in, in like a decade. But you can go to the Service Arizona website and it tells you what the costs are. I think it's $25 for the year to get the OHV decal on your license plate on your off-road vehicle. Now, this means that you have to actually have a license plate on your off-road vehicle. So if you don't have plates, you can't get the sticker, and you're not allowed to operate on state trust land. Now, does that stop anybody? It certainly doesn't seem so. I see people riding dirt bikes side-by-sides and quads here. So take that information as you see fit. Well, Odin and I hope you enjoyed that video and that you learned something from it and that you realize that state trust land is something cool, something that you can camp on in a lot of states, especially in Arizona. Very cheap, 15 bucks to camp 14 days legally. Like I said, people seem to extend their stay. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget the thumbs up. Till next time. Odin cares a lot about state trust land, doesn't he? How many Fs do you give? Do you want to tell the peoples? You just want to blink? How many, how many Fs do you give? Blink the number of times of the Fs that you give. And yeah, that's what I thought. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. See all those people camping up there and they're uh, graciously blasting their dirt bikes next to all these people camping. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Harvey Gongon, Joe Lazaro, Pat.